Desire to throw the crystal ball into the 
your village people have turned bad and they are filled with greed and jealousy. So I am taking this as to God. That God said all those things. So God only take the crystal ball back to us. So Nazir told all these things to the villagers. Is this true? No. Nazir only threw the crystal ball into the ocean for bringing back this peace to the village and happiness to this village. Isn't it? So but Nazir told all these things to the villagers. The villagers felt ashamed when they hear this. After hearing this, villagers felt ashamed and they promised one another. They promised one another not to fight among themselves. From that, from then onwards, all the villagers felt sad, felt ashamed. They never fight again. They promised we should not fight again for anything. So from then on, all the villagers celebrated all the festivals together. They never fight among. They never fight among anyone. So all the villagers were very happy and they lived together. They all danced. They all sang. They all eat together. They celebrated all the festivals together. Nazir was glad to see the village people become good and friendly to each other. Seeing this, Nazir felt very happy. Glad means happy to see the villagers become good and friendly to each other. As told by the crystal ball, his family closed their eyes and wished for food whenever they required it and it was planted. So as the crystal ball already told, isn't it? Whenever you want anything, just close your eyes and think of me. The crystal ball said it, isn't it? So they also close their eyes and they ask for food. They request also fulfilled. They will grant it by the crystal ball. The crystal ball said only, isn't it children? Yes. Shall we read it once again? He told them that God spoke in his dream saying, your village people have turned bad and are filled with greed and jealousy. So I am taking the crystal ball back. The villagers felt ashamed when they heard this. They promised one another not to fight among themselves. Nazir was glad to see the village people become good and friendly to each other. As told by the crystal ball, his family closed their eyes and wished for food. Whenever they required it, and it was better. Whenever they want anything, they just close their eyes and they think the crystal ball. The crystal ball grant everything. But Nazir's family asked only for food. So, you should be like Nazir's family. You should not behave like the villagers. Children, from this story, what we have understood? Yes, we have understood that we should be kind and we should be polite to others. We should not be a greedy person. We should not be a jealousy person towards others. We should not fight with others for anything. So you should be like Nazir's family. Okay? Have you understood the story children? Yes, very good. Now we'll see the story. Nazir was a shepherd boy. He lived with his parents and grandparents. They were a poor family and had only a few sheep. Every morning Nasir took the sheep up the hills for grazing. Then he returned home in the afternoon. One morning Nasir took his sheep up the hill for grazing. He sat under a tree and started playing his flute. Suddenly he saw something shining behind the flower bushes. He walked towards the bushes and found a crystal ball. He kept turning the crystal ball. The crystal ball said, You can make a wish that your heart desires, and I will fulfill it. Before anyone could see, he put the crystal ball quickly into his bag, gathered his sheep, 
and rushed home. He showed the crystal ball to his parents and grandparents. They decided not to misuse the crystal ball. They wished only for food and clothes. They became happy. A few villagers hid and watched Nasir's house. They were shocked when they saw the family talking to the crystal ball. The next day, when Nasir took the sheep up the hill, a few villagers sneaked into his house and stole the crystal ball. Each one snatched the ball from the other and asked for more and more things. They became jealous of one another. Nasir was sad to see the villagers become bad. He threw the crystal ball into the ocean to bring peace and happiness back to his village. Suddenly he heard the crystal ball tell him that he will always fulfill his wishes. Nasir told the villagers that God told him in his dream that the village people had become bad and so he was taking the crystal ball. The villagers were ashamed when they heard this. They promised not to fight among themselves. Whenever Nasir missed his good friend, he went to the ocean and talked to the crystal ball and felt happy. Did you all enjoy the story children? Yes, really. And for your home assignment, you have to write down the past tense and question answer in your CW notebook. In the previous class, we have written the D words, synonyms and antonyms. Isn't it? The continuity, past tense and question and answer you have to write in your CW notebook. And you have to complete page number 41 and 43 in your book. This is your home assignment children. Let's have the period which is attached to this video. Hope you all understood the story children. We will meet you in the next class. Have a nice day. Thank you children.